plug-in to X-Plane 11. So we are here going to deliver some more pizza today in this MD-11, which I already flew once as an airplane. I flew once, it didn't go well. I'll be splicing those clips in here just to show you how that went. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Bye. APU is on, so let's turn on APU air. APU air. That's gonna turn these guys on. It's automatic here. System is automatic. Which is cool, that's better than actually, I think Boeing isn't even automatic. Now I'm not even sure. I don't think it's automatic on the old. This plane is old, I don't think the older than you, but not old Boeing planes are not automatic either, so. So wheel chocks to submit, cockpit stairs, ground power unit. Interesting. Off. Okay, good. We still got our um, stuff loaded up. So cockpit door closed. Close, close, close. We'll go outside and make sure that's closing. By moving this so we can see. Okay, close. Okay, there it is. Now it's closing. Looking forward to the passenger version of this airplane. Whenever we decide to get it. Oh, I have to put the put, get the pushback ready. I'll be right back. Okay, so that's set up. Let's push back. By turning on the beacon. And let's get ready. Let's push back. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. Okay, connecting. So connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Parking brake is because in here it's manual. Oh, let's arm this up. Parking brake is released. Starting pushback. And you may start engines. Okay. I'm gonna start the engines in order. Come on. There we go. Wait for N2 to hit. Introduce fuel. Okay, next one, next engine. Time from getting into the plane, the engine start is much shorter this time. Last time it was horrifically bad. 
It was horrifically bad. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Parking brake is set. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Okay. And last one. Seventeen seventy six. Nice transponder code. Disconnected hand signals. Okay. Shoot fuel. We're good. Stabilizer trim should be six point six. Flaps and slats. And bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal will be on the left. We'll see you next time. Have a safe flight. Okay, we're all started up. APU air off. And shut the APU itself down as well. We're past max motor, so we're good. There's a signal. Flap to 15. Okay, good. I'll do it for takeoff. Brakes, so that's that. Let's do a flight control check. Do it by pressing the config button. Make sure my reverses are working. And... Okay, good. They're working. Last time I did this, they weren't. So, take off. And let's release the brakes and get out of here. I will see you guys... on the runway. Alright, we're on the runway, so let's go ahead and get ready to take off. Landing lights on, those lights land or take off in this case. This is all good. High intensity lights on. Beacon is on, I can turn my turn off right on. Just in case we have issues. Status. Oh, it's okay. Let's go with miscellaneous. I think that's the uh, D. Is it the one? Yep, that's the one. Okay, cool. So that's that. We are going to turn this to T A R A. System one. Set that to test. We can test it here. Push. Brighten it up. There we go. I'm going to put the TCAS over here on this guy. There we go. And I'll set to WX. Alright, we're good. Let's take off. Read the parking brakes. Turn on to the runway. And get out of here. Do it and let's advance the throttles. Bleeds all off, so full power to the engines for takeoff. E knots. E1. 
one. Coming up on VR. Rotate. Positive rate. Very positive rate. Gear up. Past 400 feet, you can activate the autopilot. Don't think we need to today because it's rather sunny outside. So I'll go to. Yeah, it's kind of hazy though, so. I'll go to about 2000 and activate the autopilot. Either way, I'll see you guys at cruise. Okay, so descent is coming up in about 20 nautical miles, so let's go ahead and start preparing for it. First things first, we gotta take this altitude down the 2100 feet. Medium there. Monitor vertical speed. Monitor vertical speed. Clear of conflict. Oh. And yeah, there was a TCAS alert that came up. What's outside? I don't see anything. Must have been something back there. Check the roof uh, map. Ghost plane or something? I guess so. Alright, so let's get ready to get going. So altitude is set, we should start descending automatic at the way past Tonga here. And there's the Magong VOR right here. Magong being part of Penghu. It's called the White Dao of Taiwan, which is not actually the island of Taiwan. It's still part of the country of Taiwan because those two are not the same. Anyhow. Let's go ahead, transponder set, everything is looking good, let's check the approach performance. I want to use flaps 50, see what happens there. Okay, yeah, 35 for land, oh my gosh. Look at this V approach. 35 is landing, V approach, VF, timer miss. 50 land, okay, there we go. I want to use this one. Flaps 50, that'll... Keep us slower. It's still a high V ref. More like the airbuses that I'm used to. So, all right. We're gonna start down. It's gonna say add drag soon. That's that. I will see you guys on final. Lights up is alive. Gear. gear down. Gear. They've got a faint visual on the runway, so we can go. Um, gear. We'll just do it manually. Okay, gear down. Let's end this flight. In a safe manner, of course. Uh, 
I've got the runway lights in sight. So watch the vertical velocity. Starting to drift a little bit. Just a tailwind, so no big deal. It's foggy though, again that is very Taiwanese weather. Because it's April, I think it's Meiji right now, or the plum rain season, for those of you who haven't yet learned to speak Chinese. This particular time uh, of year in Taiwan, it rains a lot, hence the uh, plum rain season. A little bit like Florida, for those of you who have lived in Florida. Think of it that way. Terrain. Yes, I know that there's terrain. We're managing that. We're also um, high on the approach. Terrain. I'll admit this isn't the uh, easiest airplane to land. Terrain. But it feels good. Like I feel like it's responsive. Continue. It feels responsive. It feels like I feel in control. I know what happened. Reverse. Hard reverse. And braking. And we have safely made it. Idle the engines out. Reversers stowed. Welcome to Taipei. Auto brake is in fact disarmed. Let's exit here. Much better than my first landing, which you will see here. It's amazing the difference one flight makes, no? So, stopped. Parking brake on. Uh, this FMC is reset itself. So, in it. Okay, there we go. Let us. Track the speed brakes first. Let us watch the replay. I'm guessing that was just the replay issue and the spoilers did actually deploy as they were deployed when 
we got off the runway. So, high intensity of the strobes off, runway turn off off, landing lights. Oh, that's what's happening. Nose light the taxi, runway turn off off, landing lights retracted and off. WXR off. Switch the system to off. Test. Transponder to standby. Flaps retracted from 50 back to zero. APU startup. Start the APU. Auto brake must be set to off. No smoking seatbelt still on. All this is good. Taxi light is on. So that is that. I will see you guys at the stand. Okay, you see the stand is right in front of us. And in true Eva Air Changrong Hong Kong fashion, we will park in a way, or just Eva Evergreen Changrong Ji Tuan, we will park in a way that blocks everybody from moving anywhere. Nah, just kidding. Eva Air is actually a pretty good airline. I think they were best in the world at some point for their service. I think now that title belongs to Korean Air. I, I'm sure there have been plenty of jokes hurled at um, Eva's expense ever since the Ever Given incident happened. Because in Taiwan, jokes are a way of life. The jokes are just a little different. Let's bring this guy up to the uh, front and park it so we can actually get out of everybody's way. Let's go ahead and uh, slow down. Time was pretty good. What a difference one flight makes, huh? Oh. Stop. Okay, there we go. Yeah, overshot, but that's okay. I'll deal with it. shot by quite a bit, but I'll deal with it. This isn't the um, guidance system of the uh, gates. We have a little bit of room to play with here. Anyhow, brake overheat. That's never a good thing, so we need to shut everything down. So, EPU power is got to go on. I believe that should do it. So let's just shut the engines down. Well, APU air has to go on as well. I guess it's impossible to um, have that switch happen automatically. I'm not sure, but it is what it is. AP power is on, engines are shutting down and cooling off. So let's turn the beacon light off. The nav light's on, nose light goes off. Seatbelt signs go off. Well, that's no smoking. I want the seatbelt signs to go off. Okay, the system's up here, displaying fault because we've shut everything down. So, that's that. The PXR is not on. It's off. Okay, there we go. Battery is charging. We can switch this back to map mode off of TCAS. TCAS standby. Okay, good. Everything is good. We don't want the WXR on while we're on the ground because it emits radiation that could harm somebody on the ground. Now, let's put the chalks in so we get out our menu. Chalks request, cockpit stairs request, fuel service low, we won't do that. Cockpit door open, open all the cargo doors. Open these light, or turn these lights on. There we go. We are successfully landed. That is our second flight ever in the MD-11, but the first you'll see, combined with the uh, pictures of my first flight, especially the uh, bad practice that happened. So it'll be an interesting video. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time, and goodbye.